Good morning, everybody. Um, and it, uh, for those of you who I haven't met, yeah, as Rachel said, Tom Blathwaite, uh, and I run, along with my father, a uh, Paul Atmire Estate, which, I mean, I, I'm not sure I agree necessarily with the poet who said it was the end of the world, but I, I do think it's a very, very special place. Um, I've been told to keep things very snappy, uh, I think five minutes, and, and what I want to do is just uh, give a quick introduction to the estate, and then my views on what some of the challenges are uh, that lie ahead, really with the hope of, sort of starting discussion and reflections during the rest of today. So, um, first of all, what is, what is the Port Manor Estate? It, it basically goes from uh, the foreshore uh, that you may have seen as you drove in um, earlier, to the beach, uh, there's a harbour, a 15th century harbour, um, surrounding commercial buildings, pub, hotel, and some residential units. And then uh, farmland, which is both lowland farms that you can see outside, uh, woodland, predominantly broadleaf, broadleaf woodland, uh, stretching up into sort of upland, upland agricultural areas and moorland. So in total, it's about three, three and a half thousand acres. And I thought, when, when I was thinking about this yesterday, I thought, well, how do I think about the challenges that we face? And I think the best frame for, for me is the mission of our estate. And so we think of our mission in terms of sort of three pillars. And so that those three pillars are firstly making Porlock and Porlock Weir and the parts of the estate a great place uh, for people to live and work. Uh, the second pillar is, is related to tourism, so actually making Porlock a fantastic place for visitors to come to. It's such an important part of our economy. And the third pillar is uh, nature and, and trying to create a place where nature thrives in the sort of given the, the massive pressures that the natural world faces around the world, and really be an example uh, for that. So those are sort of the three pillars about how we run the estate. So then, what, what are the challenges then that, that I see? I, I see four challenges, main challenges that I sort of want to throw out to you all today. Uh, there's climate change, there is um, uh, agriculture, and the, the future of agriculture, there's a providing affordable housing, and then there's allowing nature to thrive. So just if I can just touch on each of those. Um, climate change. Ah, is that there? You, there was a photo up there earlier when Rachel was talking about uh, the marsh. Um, and I think for me, that, is, that, that, that happened in 1996, when the fields that you previously saw um, were marshland, a huge, as my father called it, a cathedral of sound. Uh, there were fresh reed beds used for the, th the thatched cottages, um, and it was pasture land. And then, and then over time, there was pressure on the ridge. There was a storm in 1996, and ever since then, that's now a, a salt marsh that we're going to go and visit later on today. But it really brings it home that climate, sort of climate change is, is real and is really going to affect this, 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 this part of the world, and especially at the areas that are on our estate. And anyone who's been up here on a spring tide, there was actually one a couple of days ago, you will know that we are inches away, the hotel, the pub, the build, the houses down by the harbour are inches away from flooding two times a year. So this is real, and when you look at the forecasts of where we're going with climate change, it's going to become more real. And so that, for me, is, is real challenge number one. And this tree is one of my favourite trees in the world, and I actually would like to enter it into the England sort of Tree of the Year competition, because it's an oak, and, and 20 years ago, it was in the corner of a field, and you can see it slowly moving along for a while, it's on the top of the ridge, and actually just in Storm Eunice, it's moved back, Another, another meter. And so it's really exposed. And for me, it's a symbol of both the change that we see in, in the climate around us, but also uh, resilience uh, and the fact that it is, it is still living, it's just budding at the moment. Um, and so I think it's a, for me, it's a real symbol of, of climate change. Um, the second challenge is affordable housing. We could very easily, on our, especially for some of the residential units down by the harbour, uh, sell them off or run them as holiday lets and we would be a fantastic place for people to visit but we'd become like a Cornish village where actually no one lives there. It's really, really important to us that we continue to provide a place where local people can work. But that's a real challenge because the, the sort of tax environment we face at the moment doesn't recognise this approach to, to affordable housing. So challenge number two is how are we going to continue to be able to provide uh, affordable housing for, for people uh, working in the area. Uh, one more minute, thank you. Challenge number three, these are the, the quickest two challenges. Uh, farming, I think that, that we have, we have three, three, ten, three farms on the, on the estate. There's a real question about how the economics are gonna work as we move from uh, BPS 
to elms, and actually how, how are financially uh, farmers going to make, make that work and, 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 and balance the books. And then the last challenge is how we can make nature thrive in this area. Um, I think this is one of the challenges that for me is most exciting, because I think there's a huge potential, but it's, it is something that we cannot do alone. And so I guess my, 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 sort of final, my, my final point for all of these challenges is that we, uh, part of the reason that we're all here today, I think, is that we can't address these issues alone. And it's only going to be through partnership and collaboration that we can actually make progress. And so with that, I will leave the floor to the rest of our esteemed speakers. But uh, thank, welcome to Porlock, and I hope you have a really enjoyable day. <laughs>